here's what Matt Reeves uh, posted, which is just freaking awesome right here. I mean, talk. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of rain in the Batman. There's going to be a lot of rain. There definitely is going to be a lot of rain, but I, I really dug this motion post right here because obviously it has the silhouette of Batman, but there's a question mark that forms, and then some things you have to decipher. There's some puzzles and whatnot. This Riddler is going to be just a mind fuck. That's for damn sure, so... Love that. The Batman. All right. We got some new stuff from Empire Magazine. Yay! Uh, that has to do with the Batman, some interviews uh, uh, and whatnot. Well, just just stuff that was taken from there, of course. So you could pre-order a copy. There was a lot of things that were talked about uh, when it comes to this right here. Um, there's some things, too, where Robert Pattinson, even uh, he even talked about about you know what he would want to do for uh, where he want to take Bruce Wayne's psyche in the next two movies he said pretty much so pretty much confirming that yes there is going to be a trilogy when it comes to that so yeah Robert Pattinson he has a map essentially so here's like part of uh, of course Empire Magazine right here it says the Batman is a standalone movie but Robert Pattinson has a map of where he'd go next exclusive so as uh, the last time we got a big screen Batman, he was plugged into a pre-existing franchise, Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne factoring into Zack Snyder's Man of Steel follow-up, Ban uh, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. For better or worse, he was always part of a bigger picture immediately pitched against Henry Cavill's soups for a showdown and subsequ uh, subsequently uh, flung into the Justice League. But that's not the plan. Matt Reeves Upcoming, the Batman introducing Robert Pattinson as a very different Bruce Wayne Batman for the first time since Christopher Nolan's game-changing Batman Begins. We're meeting a brand new Bat in his own right. As the first standalone Batman in 10 years, the hope is we can lay out a foundation that you can build stories upon. Producer Dylan Clark tells Empire for where of where the batman sits which isn't to say there isn't stuff planned on the fringes of matt reeves film a raft of hbo max spinoff series in the works including on set in gotham pd and one reportedly due to, to involve colin farrell's penguin but if nobody is talking about crossovers or specifically sequel plans yet pattinson has had thoughts about where he'd take his version of bruce wayne if future installments ooh typo right there um, okay um where uh where to materialize i've made a kind of map uh for where bruce bruce's uh, psychology would grow over two more movies he says i would love to do it so there you go I'm glad that he would love to do it because remember we were hearing rumors that, you know, Matt Reeves and uh, Pattinson were bumping heads, which doesn't necessarily mean that didn't happen. Let's face it. This is a Batman movie, a very dark Batman movie. Maybe, you know, maybe Matt Reeves and Pattinson did bump heads, but it was good for the performance. You can look at it like that. You know, director, not quite, you know, he wants to get he wants to get his uh, his Batman into like a certain spot. And, and and apparently, too, over the weekend, when it came to Matt Reeves talking about Batman, he said he was heavily inspired by Kurt Cobain. Obviously, we've heard something in the way that's been in both trailers. Apparently, when Matt Reeves was writing the script for this, he was listening to a lot of Nirvana. So he wanted to be like, all right, we're not going to do the traditional Bruce Wayne billionaire playboy type and blah, blah, blah. We're not going to go there. We're going to make him more, uh, you know, you know, a Kurt Cobain esque, you know, which is interesting. I mean, I love Kurt Cobain, you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, I'm very much uh, into uh, into his a different kind of take because obviously he's not like flashing his money around. He's just living in a in Wayne Manor that's all kind of just looking like it's run down and whatnot. So I mean, it's going to be interesting to see where they can actually take the character. But I'm kind of liking this foundation of Bruce Wayne doesn't give a fuck ab about anything but saving people and figuring some shit out. You know, so. Yeah, but basing it off Kirk Cobain, that is something that's pretty much, that's pretty interesting right there. As for Reeves, he currently focused on the Batman, hoping to deliver a Dark Knight story that feels distinct to the uh, myriad of others uh, that have come before. I've only ever made each movie as a passion project, he explains. This, he, this even more so because when you know something has been done well before, it is so beloved, you can't just come in 
and sleepwalk through it. You have to shoot for something. We're trying to leave our mark on this. And I think they definitely are going to leave their mark on this for sure. And look at that. Look at that guy right there. Look at that guy just looking. I like the costume. I don't care what anybody says. You know, I know some people are not like, some people don't like the costume. I like the costume. I think it's going to be, I think it, I think it works. I think it works in this uh, in this world, in this kind of Batman world that Matt Reeves is definitely trying to uh, create right here. But yeah, so good stuff, good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, March March will be here before we know it, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how big this movie ends up being. You know, that's that's what I'm really curious on. I mean, it's kind of been it's been pretty awesome because I saw the last two movies I saw, which was Spider Man No Way Home and Nightmare Alley. I saw the last Batman trailer. With both of those movies, which was cool. I was like, yeah. And it's the most anticipated movie of 2022, according to IMDb. So that's also cool. I mean, yes, this has definitely been the year of Marvel. Next year, it's going to be interesting because DC has what? Like, I have a bunch of shit coming out. You know, I know we're not all like, you know, not not all of us are, you know, jumping towards it. I, I get that. But there's a lot of DC content that is coming out next year so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with all that when it comes to this nerd world and all the cape shit and whatever the fuck because yeah marvel definitely had domination this year it seems like dc really has might have some domination next year but we will see what happens with it i'm just i'm excited for it i'm here for it i'm all about it i'm gonna watch it all that's just the way it is i know but looking forward to batman of course the most which Yeah, we already know which one's going to be on my top, like on the top of my list of anticipated films for 2022. Not going to be any surprise right there, I guess. Right. Right. Yeah. 